can see my computer. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So um, going back from the beginning where control is. Can you? This is, can you hear me? Am I like double echoing? Yeah, because you're on my. I'm on the phone, and you can I turn off the sound too? Yep. Oh yeah, right there it is. Okay, so this is the main Trello board. So these are all the boards I'm currently working on. So um, here's the NSH relaunch. And when I click on that, yes. Am I, am I muted now? Mm -hmm. You mute your um, mute your computer. Okay, so, all right, so here is like a summary of just the way Trello works. So each of these are different projects that I'm working on. All right, so like I'll take you into one that, that's pretty well used. So in this one, the way we did our boards is we, we See my screen now. Okay, so this is when I log into Trello, this is what I see. So these are the different things that I'm that I'm working on. So I'm probably going to make this a different color. Um, this is our NSH relaunch. But for example, this one. The way we've set this particular project up, there's only two of us <laughs> using it. And you can see this is a to-do. So this card is just to-dos. So here's where we start with everything. And it, you know we're both in project management, so this is how she thinks. So this is what we need to work on. This is what we're working on now. And this is what we've com completed. So we've finished our budget. So she's. this is how we've organized this one compared to, um, you know, this one here, this to me seems more like what we'll do. So this is for Liberty. So one of the things that we needed was we needed a tax preparation team. And for that, we had different things that we needed to do. Then um, budget and action plan here is that information. You know, you can click on passwords and it tells you the actual passwords that we needed to be able to share to get into systems. And then, you know, what's our social media look like? Here's all the Facebook information and radio media, anything that we've got going on is gonna be in here. Same way we're working on staffing, here's a whole thing for staffing. So you come in here. Yes. 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 So, so, um, yes. So, uh, my thought was, I'm um, uh, with the first one of the top 10 priorities is branding. The second one is this NSH brochure. 
So our second card here is going to be NSH for sure. And if you if you were logged on on a different window, you could be watching on screen without doing Google. Like you would just see it as I'm typing it. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and do this with the top 10 priorities, but the first one is this logo that we're working on. So when I click on this, I can change to the thing the input for logo. I can make it whatever I want it to be. Um, this, this card is for branding. So that's the sub, the project is branding. This particular card is working with the logo. So I put in this logo checklist and I just put a couple of items in more as examples. So consolidate input call, present input to team call, and I put a date next to it. You know, and so then we could just add what other tasks we think need to be done and they can be assigned to anybody on the team. Or they could be, um, you know, like let's say that we aren't sure who's doing it yet. We know it needs to be done, but it hasn't been assigned. You can put it there and then if somebody wants to assign it to themselves because they've got the time to work on it, they can just go in and it's real time. So if I make a change right now and Dawn happens to jump on this board while you and I are doing this, she's going to see what we're doing. So here's where add a comment is. It could be that you need to actually log in as opposed to just go to link. I think that you created it already. When I put in um, reps at alcworld.com, it showed Paul Kellogg in Trello, which means that you've already got a, lot, a login. If you use the same password for a lot of things, which I do, you can try that. You can also connect with Google. Okay. Did you, did you put in the reps one, reps at ALC World? It says once they sign up with Trello and confirm their email address. So you need to sign up with the reps at ALC World. That's what's telling me. <laughs> okay. I'll, I will stay here to collect the thing that we need to take back to the bio. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Are you? I would say that you're going to take your farm. Yeah. Cool. All right. Bye. All right. So, did that work?
Yes. Now when you click on it, did it open? <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, hey. Okay, that's what happened. We, I just needed to, I didn't act, even though you were inviting or we got to it, but there was actually a cap there before. And so I just had to get in and create one. Well, what we need to do with this is, is, I mean, just to finish off this exact thing here, we need to get Dawn in on this. And when Tiger gets back from Australia, get him in on it. Or maybe I can just we just email him and he'll catch it. But for sure when he gets back, and probably even Esther. Although I'll tell you that Esther, um, she may or may not want to get into this just because it's more technical and more stuff that she has to try and figure out. We can't talk to her. I don't know. Yeah. But for sure, you, me, and Tiger and and uh, and uh, Dawn. Well, what I can do is. What I can do, worst case, is I'll just set time aside to work with um, Esther on this when I'm out there. Assuming that the yeah, strike well, ends at some well, point. Well, exactly. That. I mean, a lot of this stuff can, can, can deepen itself so when we're all together. You betcha. No question about that. And we'll, we'll actually be, you know, over the next couple of months up until camp, you know, we could be working on some kind of, like, I'm working on the brochure. I'm working on a couple of little booklets right now, too. So, as well as the uh, logo. So, you know, by the time we get out there, we'll have some stuff going down, and that there'll be things out there in the computers, in the alley created databases, um, things that we can then update and change and figure out, get reprinted, and, and all that. So, there's going to be a lot of, for sure, action and activity when we're eyeballs, eyeballs. So um, I'm adding something under themes now. So you see how, uh -huh. you, look, go, go ahead and close the card on We Need a New Logo. And yeah. you can see that just from a glance, you can tell the activity that's on there. There's a list, two out of the four items are completed on the list. There are two attachments, yeah. there's four comments. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Sunraiser so, to represent um, reaching out and connecting. Um, and they also had what were some of the other things people people like to see? Um, world select. The horizon. Okay, so here's here's what I'm doing. That's because I'm not talking. Spiritual horizon over planet Earth. Earth. Okay, I want you to edit. Go into themes. Yeah, and edit where I put world silhouette, the spiritual horizon over the planet. Like if we were working on how we're doing this. So, and yeah, we can do that. And so, okay, all right, hold on. Uh, okay, so how do I edit it? See it right underneath it, it says edit. Or does it say reply? Reply. Okay, click reply. 
Okay. And then I put. Send, send you back up the comments. Right. So, and it said at Ginger Barbie, right? Now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, I need to. What was that? Wow. Hold on a second. You're, yeah, I can yeah. see. It. I can. There's a little thing that just like on. Uh, the, can see it? I can't see what you're typing, but I can see that you are typing. Okay, all right, great. So, give me a moment. Yeah. Okay, here's what I got so far. So 
that is what that's what Tiger and we all kind of envisioned is the way I just described that. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Here's okay. the thing. Here's so, the thing. So, so, so the other question I have is, is, is do we want to say to whoever's going to work on this, how we want the words engaged in that logo? New Spiritual Rides, or New Spiritual Rides programs. Okay. So here's the thing with what you just did. Yeah. Like this is the way, this is not to make things confusing but under branding there's we talked about themes and imagery and the logo yeah okay so your comment just now was on the um logo but yeah. you put your comment in the card that is on themes well, I thought that I thought that under branding, um, we're, we need a new logo. Oh, I see. We need a new, new logo and themes is all separate. Well, and I, I and, thought, and I yeah. did the reason why I did them separate was because when on the top ten priorities, yeah, um, Tiger put branding, and then next to it, it said imagery, top themes, choose graphic for brand, logo design. Yeah. So I was looking okay. at those being like sub projects under branding. So okay, when, hold on a second. I will fix it. Um, you might have to just copy and paste it. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, it, some things you can move. I don't think you can move in a comment. No, I just copied and pasted it. It's there now. You can see it. Okay. It's under logo. It's under logo. Okay. And so yeah. under themes, what we would put here is you see, I put like the sun rays, the world silhouette. There was talk yeah. about water, um, you know, the themes. That could be some of that stuff that we talked about. Um, what we're talking about, like taglines. If you yeah, wanted absolutely. to call, yeah. you know, maybe yeah. we do another card and we call it taglines. Yeah. And, um, you know, that would be where people could add things there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I would just, I'll just put another comment on the theme that says, you know, uh, this is, this is to, to reference what we're looking at, the logo, because the, the bottom line is the logo, the logo energy will carry the feeling of the theme also. Absolutely. I, I'll make that comment. Okay, so um, if you want to go back to the Google hand Hangout section again. Hold on one second. I'm just going to hold on. You're going back to where to the Google Hangout thing. Okay. 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 So um, I wanted to show you Fiverr. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm logged into Fiverr now. Okay. Hold on one second. Oh no, mind. Go ahead. Go on. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. So here's the type of stuff that's in here. Um, you know, these are the okay. people that have paid to be featured. So he, this guy will record a retro sounding live drum set for 25 yeah. bucks. Um, the most persuasive about us page, <laughs> five bucks to have your about us page written for you. Yeah. Um, a, create a promotional spokesperson video, five bucks. Uh -huh. yeah. um, highly high quality custom animation video um so what we're yeah, looking okay. for is we're looking for logos so there's a popular search across there it's in the picture's logo so you just pick some kind of search right um yeah and actually up here you can see digital marketing oh yeah, yeah. 
graphics and designs. So logo design right there. Logo design. Yeah, click on it, see what they got. Ten dollars, five dollars. This guy will do two magnificent logos in 48 hours. Okay. Uh, here's two stunning logos plus a free editable file. So uh, in case it's almost what we like, but not quite. Uh, two great logos in 48 hours with uh, free vector art, meaning that it you would own it, own the... Um, So I mean, I would say that if we spent twenty five bucks to get a couple of things, that would that would be good. Does that sound about right to you? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, but Whitney is Whitney uh, Dawn's sister supposedly is doing something. I, I gave I gave her a budget of fifty dollars, uh, and and so we've got we got fifty you know, hundred bucks either that mail she can spend. So. If we get one of these people for 25 and get the maximum, like we own the file and it's editable, um, you know, whatever those things are, I think that would be great to do. Okay, I think that we want, we don't want a vintage logo. Yeah. I think we just want one of those creative guys that will pick up. So, so how do we engage these people? Okay, so do we send him to our? Do we send him to our? Um, no, nope, we're gonna click on him. We're gonna click on him. He's got five stars with seven hundred and twenty-four reviews. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna look and see what his says. Unlimited revisions. That's good. Uh, except for sometimes you think if it's unlimited revisions, it's because he knows he doesn't hit it right. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, that's important. I mean, even Amanda said that most people that design logos, you know, once they've designed it, if you have needs to adjust or, or reshape, they don't charge you for reshaping what it is that they created. Okay, so this guy right here will do it in two days for $35. And that looks, mm -hmm. his medium package looks pretty good. Uh -huh. And that's for three logos. So do we, have to, do we have to do them all at once, or can can he can we get one, and then let's say Dawn's sister doesn't come through, then we send him another one in two weeks. Um, another. Yeah, I'm. Well, here's what my thought is. I like the yeah. idea of having two two things to show. One thing that I I would like to see what we can come up with that is creatively the monogram NSH. Maybe uh -huh. maybe with the sun coming up over it. You know. Yeah yeah. Something, I don't know exactly, but one thing that includes the NSH words, and then another thing that is more. That's kind of in the vein of. The, the current one where we've got the world, it basically give him the instructions that Tiger gave on the first thing. See what well, he can come up that with. I just, that I just wrote out, that I just made comment on. Right, right, That's exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay, so um, I've got the money in my PayPal. Okay. And so, and I'm logged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this select for $35. And we're yeah, going to call this to reimburse you, so, so don't worry about that. Okay, so what, um, what so, we want to so do yeah, now. Ginger, here, let me, let me stop for one second. What I would like to do, I'm going to get some on this, is you, and just, just to make it so we're clear, you go ahead and spearhead this on, the, on that, that particular design that you and I were talking about, the one that has the, the, the hybrid of the two sun kind of things over here. Uh, do the one that, that maybe incorporates the monogram energy and then whatever other one, just go for it. Can we do the communications and, you know, if you need me to get on the phone with a guy, great, but I think you got the feeling for it. Uh, does that sound good to you? It, yeah, that sounds fine. Okay. And um, so I'll go ahead, because like, I'm not seeing where, 
I don't want them to just send me two logos. I want them to be the way I want them. Yeah, yeah. So I need to find out what, how we communicate back and forth. So I'm going to do that. Okay, is there a way to email him to, to find all that, some of that out? Yeah, he said something like, if you, you don't know if I'm for you, message me. Okay, well, there you go. Let's, yeah, let's have the conversation. There it is. Contact yeah, me. You, and he's online. Yeah, you, you've got, you've got the, I, I know I'm talking with you and what you're showing me, you've got the energy to go after this. And plus, I think you're, you're savvy way more than I am to look at what bang for the buck we're going to get out of this, like the storage file, the, Unlimited revisions, you know, I know about that because Amanda told me about that from, uh, you know, somebody doing professional work for So, so uh, you're kind of more of the wheelhouse than I am. Just, just go for this and get the very best we can for the, for the investment. So talking it out with him, figuring it out, whatever we need to do. Okay, great. I, I can see you're talking to him right now. Yeah, well, I figure might as well start the conversation. Um, all right, yeah, so so we'll yeah, go ahead. You've got, the, you've got the, the two versions of what we're trying to do to create a logo. We've got to have number one and number twenty-one on the on the attachment that you had in the in the branding, yeah, in that area that you're on right now. That one, yeah. If you click on that, you go scroll down. Yeah, yeah, just pull it down. So there's number one. Dawn's sister is working on number two, and then on down is that one, number twenty-one. Okay. And that's that son. The way that is right there. Yep. That the way that sun is on number twenty-one, that's actually pretty good. The way that is, it could be maybe just a tad brighter and a more definitive rays, but then the rays coming out more on the earth and right. and, the, and if you tilt that off to the side or rotate that so there's more of the earth showing, like in the in the New Spiritual Horizons book. I don't see the New Spiritual Horizons book cover there. Uh, I think it was I down a little bit. Just keep going down it. See if it's much further down. Huh. I, I don't know where that is. I thought I had... Oh, you know what it is? I know where it is. On the, 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 the last email that I sent that was a consolidation of those four, there was the diamond... The, uh, the the bright star uh, diamond ring looking earth, uh -huh. and then there were two two of the new spiritual horizon symbols with that that kind of sun. One was the new spiritual horizon book cover itself, and then the other one was this number twenty one on this PDF that was laying next to that, so you could see. And so the the earth the way it is on the book cover has a feeling of a bigger earth. And so the idea is to have a little bit more of the rays coming out. And, and you notice it's tilted, it's slanted, so it's easier to see the sun that it's coming up off to the left, the sun coming up off to the left. Um. But, but that was it. That was in that email I sent, I think, uh, two days ago, before a call. Okay, I'm I'm trying to find it right now. Can you look with me and see? Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'll go, I'll go to my sent email. Let me send it. Um, let's see.
Oh, okay. It was, it, I think, is it this one? No, that's the only thing that's in there. Um. No, I was in my email trying to see if I could find it. Okay, hold on. I found this. It had it had number one and it had number twenty one and it had number at that time I think that was number seven or something like that, or I had it in there or something. Alright, so we've got one. Oh this this is it. This is it. This is it. It, it, it didn't have all the others. I took all the yep. others out. Yep, this is it. Okay, okay so, so there you go. So I want so to you, download can you, can this. You, are you going to attach that so you can yep. show it to me? And then open, open it up in your Google Hangouts. Okay. Now, one thing that Dawn told me that um, her sister said uh -huh. is that it's very hard to create a logo from someone else's photo or from an actual photo. That essentially they have to take your concept and create it from the ground up for it to have the graphic effect. That's, you know, they can't just take a picture. I mean, I guess you can. But you can't just take a picture, you know, and like Dawn did, she took a picture and then she surrounded it with words and right. actually probably would have the graphic that somebody would have to create that. But it's hard to do that with someone else. So 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 these are these things would just be the concepts of it that you have to recreate. Um, okay, so can you, can you open up that logo sample thing? Um, yeah, that's it. Here's here's the one thing that I was going to say is it yeah. would be helpful. And if it has to wait till Monday, that's OK. Uh, yeah. But it would really be helpful to have this particular document in Word. Oh, OK. So yeah, that it basically I did that. I did that because because the, the, the uh, with all those photos and logos in there. The document was like five megs. So oh. I made it into PDF. Oh, you know what? Never mind. What what I wanted, I have in Word. I wanted this latest okay, one, the one with everybody's input. Yeah, there's that. That's the one. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to modify this, and I'm going to post in the yeah. Trello what I send her as our input. Yeah. Okay. So, so, um, I, I put a, uh, so what I'll do is in here, we've got commission draft from fiber. I've got that as my uh, item and I'll put down here in the comments what's going on. Yeah. Because okay, like so from the that, comment, you can add that document into the comments. Yeah. Okay. Open it back up for just a second. The, the document, the, the uh, consolidated thing. Okay. And scroll back 
actual event. So the level one, and then the, 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 the book cover, and the 21. You see how the, the, see the line of the earth? Yes. In the book cover? And then you see the line of the small one where it says, least there are new horizons. That, that actually, I'm almost positive, is the same photo of the same image. Or, and, we, and so for the book cover, they just rotated it down more, cropped it off its edge, rotated it down more so that so that it, um, it had more of that diagonal energy to it. And then all that stuff down where it just studied the manual form, that's the earth. And the idea was for the rays to be coming out more that, a little bit more like it's, it's easier to prominently see the rays on the number 21 arrow. So it's like a, a, like a combination of the two of those and then, and then making the star a little bit brighter, making the sun just a little bit brighter than it is, uh, than it is similar to the number one, but not too bright. Number 21 actually, as I look at it, if you see it blown up a little bit, that's a pretty bright. And, and, and the image in the Research Horizons book is much more washed out because of the prism. Right. Yeah. So it's some version of that. I like the more brilliant bursts of the, the star in number one, but it is not quite so prominent. The earth is still much bigger than the sunrise. Like in number twenty-one. Yeah, I, you know, I like the I like one slanted. I like one kind of slanted. Yeah, that's what Tiger was talking about. If, 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 if you can bring that sun off to the side a little bit, like it is the number. 21 of the book cover, that's what he wanted. He felt the sun was a little bit too bright, but not quite as much. Somewhere between the two, but you can't do line art that you can do in black and white that's going to look crisp. Like, I like this Horizons. Oh, I do too. I, yeah, there's something about that that I like a lot. And, and Carol will like that too. Um, you know, and maybe, so and maybe we do something that looks like that. And we put the NSH in that. Yeah, I mean, that could be something totally different. Now, the one thing about that particular logo is that that may be a copyrighted or trademark logo from that particular group. Right. So I don't know if you could just copy that exactly. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and. Um, I think I'm going to send them this whole, the whole thing on the logo feedback. Oh, you're going to show the person that? Yeah, that document. Yeah, all right, good. Make sure he knows that it's, that it's level one and, and, the, and the 21, that it is the highest, it's our top priority. That's the one that Tiger likes most. Okay. I so. told him, I told him we're all going to get creative, and I know he's teaming it up. But the bottom line is he needs to sign off on it. It's going to be his logo for all posterity. See, with this premium choice, we could do seven of the standards. But I think this I think I think this is the right thing to do. Because the other thing is is we pay our five bucks and then we decide to do you know, we like it, we want the three D mock up and all that stuff. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to do the um, we'd have to do this anyway, and that costs us forty instead of thirty five. 
No, I'm saying let's just go ahead and bite the bullet and do the 35. Yeah, I think both. Well, here's the other thing that you're good for that. We're getting a little, tra I mean, he's creating some other stuff for us. I know when the logo transparency means that we can take that logo and we're going to be able to put it over other, other artwork that we have. Exactly. And then a principal resolution logo means that he's going to create it in a way that, that when we print a brochure and all that, it'll be high res for that brochure. So, so I think we're getting some good stuff based on what I am reading here. And the main thing is that we just are, are in agreement and clear about what three he's going to work on. Uh, I'm going to tell, I'm going to send her everything and I'm going to tell her we want one thing that's kind of like the old logo. And we want one thing that is like the NSH thing. And then she can do the third concept based on what she reads if she thinks of something else. Yeah, and so, so when you say like the old logo, you're talking about the book cover? Yep. Okay, yeah, we, we want, so yeah, just send her the comments of that. Send her, send her my comments that I listed in the comments in the, Yes, I think it is too. Okay, yeah, so send her that comment as a top comment for for uh, for the others. Okay. I mean, as a top comment for that. And then, and then I think, I, you know, the thing too, Kendra, is whatever she does, we'll be able to. I mean, whatever we get with 35 bucks, because she's got unlimited, she's got unlimited refinement, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so, and, and as long as we're staying with the same general design she does, we can say, hey, can you make the sound a little bit quieter? Can you add a few more rays onto the planet? You know, as long as we're doing that, then, you know, staying within that, then I think we've got, I think we've got a good deal going here. And then the other one, the chairs are quick. We can use them for something else. Yep. Yeah, they can be additional artwork to, to try and to rise. One might be, uh, here's, a, here's, a, here's a good thought. One of the logos, potentially, depending on how we see it, could be more for the public, the brochure, things like that. One of them might be more simple, and that's our leadership, the spiritualized logo. We can get into leadership now. Now, here's the brand. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. Why do we need to say programs? That's what I'm saying. I don't think we do. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I, I, I don't think I we know, need to do either. Yeah, I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to describe it as a community program kind of thing or just including your leadership. But I think you're just, if you add that somewhere else, this spiritualizes this program, but for the logo, it doesn't need to say that. Yeah, I agree. Okay, right. So we put your eyes on the And so my. Um, so, uh, so the small detail, the detail of the company product, these are. Um, uh,
Yeah, I don't think that they. Start over. We're going to say go. Yeah. And then she wanted, oh, uh, this is start. Did we have a slogan or tagline? I think what she's got is way more than anyone else ever sends her. Hi, well, you, okay, so let me see that? if I can. Let's see what else it says. Um, yeah, so when we're sending her take one and number 21. You're, you're having to send her the bigger sample, right? Yes. Because if we reference 121, that's all the logos that we were looking at to get some ideas. But you know what? Actually, that's a good thing to do because it shows what we're trying to think about. Right. Yeah, that's good. And then when we send her the consolidated ones with the comments of what everybody likes, now she'll get it. I need a deeper awareness of what people are feeling. I think it's good. Set it on. All right. I'm going to let her know we sent it. Go. Order conversation. What's it? There's another thing over here. Okay. Yep. So how, how, okay. Um, this, this one here with the blue and the things that new spiritual horizons, is that just PowerPoint? Is that just a PowerPoint template? The lights. In, in that Word document, that's what I was asking about. So the two that are the logos, and then the only one we don't already own is the world one. The one with the world small, the, the cover of the book and the cover, those two, we, we use those, right? Yeah, 
we use it, but we don't we don't actually own that smaller one that's specifically labeled twenty one. Okay. That's somebody else's organization. So so those those images, I think those are those are like NASA images. Those are the public domain. Uh huh. And I'm pretty sure that's where we got those. So anybody can use it until somebody trademarks the exact logo and then somebody can copy that. So so those people have new horizons on top of that. That means that that specific way is, you know, is, is their version of that. Now we can have the same exact picture if we change the word. That's my understanding of those photos. No, I only attached the one with the consolidated input. Okay, good, good. That, that, that's fine. I think that's fine. So there's got a few others in there. You can see what we were picking up. Right? Yep. Yeah, a few others, right? Yeah. Okay. You might say something. Okay. Did you? I can say something else. Right. You know, other organizations. Here, scroll down now. Let me just see what else is in there. Yeah, we, yeah, the, some of the others are, are just from other organizations. You might say that to them. Okay. The only one with the uh, Sandra is up by the lighthouse. We own that. Okay. I can put that in there, yeah. We, we own the one with Sandra, yeah. And so many so images are from other organizations. Okay. Except number two. Eight graphics. Well, um, number two. Number two. We, we I'm sure that that's a lot more information than she normally gets. Oh, I'm sure. Let's, let's be excited to see what she comes up with. Yep. Yep. That's All right. great. All right. Well, there we go. We got something off the list. It actually, so so what I think. Yeah, so, so, so now you go back and go back and put in what we did in the uh, trello. Exactly. Well, you want to know the other thing? The other thing is. Our yeah. conversation 
and all of this that I've done is recorded. So I'm going to go into this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just send you the link to it. I turned it off of public and made it private. And okay. if you want to take a quick listen to it,